The objective of the drinking water security planning approach is to make sure rural community will have enough drinking water to cover the needs on a long-term basis. For this, water quality will have to be ensured, groundwater will have to be recharged, water withdrawal for irrigation will have to be controlled, and water supply will have to be managed efficiently. Community will collect data and prepare water budget to take decision on how to use water and how to conserve water based on a clear information. Community will be supported by NGOs to prepare drinking water security plan, which include a number of decisions to regulate the use of water and a number of infrastructure or equipment to increase water availability and to use water more efficiently. The financing will come from various government development programs. You know what become increasingly clear in India is water supply can no longer be addressed in isolation of use of water for agriculture and industry. The issue uh, of water facing India is not about scarcity, but it's about its careful management and its equitable distribution. Rural community must take the lead. They have to be empowered to control their water resources, but at the same time, they have to be uh, supported by the government to, to make it. And finally, uh, water sustainability is uh, needed for India to uh, pursue its uh, strong economic growth. I have been to the field. The people, they understand the challenge and they are really concerned by the water crisis. They understand that this situation is not sustainable. Then they, they are, there is a strong interest for this kind of approach and people are asking for solutions. I visited many places during my three years here in India where people are doing a great job in improving sanitation situation and in managing well their water resources and their water supply service. There are a lot of examples of groundwater management uh, based on rainwater harvesting techniques to recharge the aquifer. Farmers association that have adopted their own regulation to control extraction of water for irrigation. Farmers that have changed their crop pattern to less intensive, intensive crop and at the same time are making more money. Farmers who have adopted sprinklers for irrigation and can irrigate now four times more land with the same wells. There are examples of people uh, getting uh, good and safe water in water quality affected area using the best technology and even getting the, the water at a reasonable price. And there are hundreds of communities uh, that regulate water demand through uh, metering and block tariff and are providing water to, to everybody. These are some of the best practice we have documented with the Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation with this compendium uh, on uh, towards uh, drinking water security in India. Drinking water security can be achieved through the implementation of these best practice. All of them in some way can contribute to improve the management of the groundwater and the water supply service. These best practices have been a great source of inspiration for us and uh, for government of India and state official. This uh, successful practice have shown the way and given hope to the sector. Best practice need to be uh, implemented at scale. So far, these best practices have been presented and discussed during the preparation of uh, government of India new rural water supply strategy and uh, some of them have clearly influenced the content of this uh, new strategy. Uh, in addition, the government of India has also decided to launch a national pilot program to test uh, this drinking water security planning approach in uh, 10 states. This will be a great opportunity to learn and to refine the approach before moving at scale. And WSP is providing technical assistance to the government for implementing this pilot program. The approach is quite new as it combines participatory approach, watershed management, water resource management and rural water supply. Obviously all these approaches taken separately exist for quite a long time but what is new is 
the integration into one single approach. In that sense, this, uh, this is very innovative uh, and is very, uh, and very innovative way of planning. The water issue in the field, they are such that time has come for concerted and coordinated action from different uh, government departments to support the community to better control, better manage their water resources. What is also new uh, is the recognition that community must take the lead. This is probably the only way in India to succeed in managing better the water resources and to sustain its use. That will require obviously a lot of work, a lot of effort and time, but this is necessary. Another major challenge will be to link this new way of planning at the local level with uh, the allocation of funds uh, from government of India and state. Um, anyway, I'm convinced that uh, other countries will, soon, will soon need uh, to adopt this kind of approach to ensure drinking water security. It will become even more relevant with the climate change and its impact on sustainability. And uh, in that sense, the experience of uh, India about drinking water security planning approach will be, will be extremely useful.